under African customary law, polygamy is allowed. The number of a person can marry <laughs> is numberless. The only issue is that once married, either through the Afri through the church or through the civil marriage or through any other system, you can't marry polygamous. But you are allowed to marry as many many wives as it is. But under the Marriage Act 2014, you must get marriage certificates for all of them. So Leto must get marriage certificates for the 10 years if he, adds, he wants to add 15. So it is legal. So Wakil, let me ask, as, you, as you've clarified it's illegal, so let me ask, do I have to go, and uh, my wife is called Christine, so do I have to take Christine along my many search for helpers, for her helpers? Is it legally, is it legally stipulated that Christine has to help me choose or is still according to African traditions? It, the, the choice of who Leto will take mm. or Professor Njenga who has retired mm. is strictly his. The role of women in deciding who a man takes mm. is not provided by law. It is our preserve, it is our kingdom because under African customary law, mm. the concept of uh, a woman marrying mm. is only provided for when it is woman to woman marriage. That is also allowed under the law. A woman who cannot give birth mm -hmm. can marry another woman and the new woman becomes a wife. And that wife will only be divorced mm -hmm. through the normal divorce proceedings. But if it is a man, there is no provision in law mm -hmm. to allow a woman to either consent mm -hmm. to allow, to permit a man to decide who to marry. It is exclusively a man's legal rights to decide how many and how to do that. Dr. Fanchaka, most of the time when a man watches <laughs> Maxwell Kubambwa, please help me. I've just done that question on uh, media I left here. Fair. Nambuskiza Vizuri, both sexes. Any gift you give, Sababu Yakima pains, you cannot claim it. Any <laughs> gift. Oops. Ununue gari, ununue uba, ununue nyumba, utumane fair. If it is a transaction in the business of love, kote aita kurudishia. So get it very clearly. Any promise, zile ahadi zote watu watapewa leo siku. Hutaenda kutini, useme, niliambiwa, nitakuja kanivo, nitalipiwa. Muto hakulipa. Niliambiwa niende kempiski, nikunye wine. Muto hakuja hakalipa. Mimi niliambiwa nitaolewa. Leo. Na jamaa metoroka. That is not known in law. Promises za kimapenzi zinamalizikia hapo. Ni za kiroho. Hakuna sheria ambayo utafuatiliwa. Ukipewa kwa mfano sasa hivi nikizungumza kwa wale vijana wamesema pengine kizungu ni mzito wewe ambaye ni kijana umepewa nyumba Karen na wale akina mumama hakikisha una title deed haitarudishwa na wewe ukipewa upeane title deed haitarudishwa transactions za kimapenzi siko vile Promises za kimapenzi ziko vile. Lakini wapo umetumiwa pesa na uh, rafiki yangu uh, Shafi kimakosa. Akwambie rudisha hiyo pesa useme hapana. Utashtakiwa kwa kupata pesa ambazo zizako. Lakini kama kuna message za kimapenzi, oh sweetheart, I've sent you fair. That's all that debt you can recover. Sahau, sikiza ngoma ya DJ and forget about it. <laughs> anyway, uh, DJ Kavis, uh, our DJ here, he's, uh, when you look at him, you think he's young, but he's... Can I add on that? Yes, please. See Let me tell you, those ones who intend to marry, if you don't have money, <laughs> don't bother. <laughs> 
Yeah. If you want to be given food, mm. you must buy that food. The day you are sacked from your job and you have no money, don't bother going home. The many cases I'm doing when man loses income. Sauti ya mwanaume ni kibeti. Get it from me today. You will only be respected. Whether you've stolen the money, whether you've done gambling, whether you've done wash wash, when you have the money. <laughs> Two, once you have the money, then issues about I've seen quite a number of young men fighting over food. Oh, si kupikiwa. Oh, si kufanyiwa nini. You take your nyamachoma at Njugunas, you come home. If you are going to have no money, then you will be demanding the wifery services. Wifery services, by nature, are provided for whoever pays. <laughs> For whatever peace, security, the women you are going to seduce, they'll tell you it's about security. I'll tell you a very good example. When in 1990, I had finished bachelor's degree in education and I was posted somewhere in, somewhere in uh, Kabaruso, in uh, Longisa, and I said I'll go back to the, my boss, the TSC secretary then of Bonyo, and told him, boss, I've just married. I can't go to the village. He told me, your wife does not need you. Your wife needs money. Get it. The wives you are going to marry don't need you. They will give birth to children. You will feed those children. If you do not have money, utakana alai wapi mukikucho manyamu. So the, for any man here listening to me, your future is not how handsome you are. It is how much money or how much you can provide. Fill it up. Is in the Munana, Chavi and Nava, Usufikiri women will look at them if, you, if they are not complimented by your pockets. <laughs> That's the position. <laughs> when we talk about the question, rephrase it kindly. Uh, if I if I get involved, if I have an affair to sound <laughs> learn it, if I have an affair with another lady out of my marriage, yes, and we get a kid, which a kid is a blessing, so we're not gonna say unfortunately. Fortunately, we get a kid. Is that kid entitled to part of my properties or part of whatever? When the question about divorce comes, then it moves to the division of the property of a marriage in what is called the division of matrimonial property. Two judgments came out last week from the Supreme Court uh -huh. saying if somebody has no capacity to marry, if you are married under a statutory provision, mm -hmm. charge uh, the, uh, the DC's office all those issues and you have another person that person by law there is nothing called a presumption for marriage that person cannot be a wife but the court has identified that there is what is called an interdependency type of relationship these are those ladies of fair that you are continuing living with but they are not officially married okay. because you didn't have capacity. The Supreme Court has given the Kenyan parliament time to make a law to deal with how do these people get their property. Because most of the women are clinging to men who have no capacity to marry. But if Ofeneke you die today, mm -hmm. any child born by you uh -huh. or any child you supported is a dependent that child will inherit your in your estate and the mother of that child yeah for the purpose of succession that mother whether it was a one off stand whether it was what will inherit for the she will be a wife 
for the purpose of inheritance. What are you saying whether included in my will or not? Dependency under section 29 is clear. Ofeneke, you, you are paid here, you send every other 10,000 by M-Pesa, you send by M-Pesa. Yes. The, the lady walks and says, look, the school fees was paid. Mm. The child has, is, was not uh, Ofeneke's, mm. but you supported that child. Willingly not at gunpoint. So that is when you are dead. But when you are alive, that person must prove that she was married. And the law now is when the law is trying to deal with the millions and millions of these people hidden who do not have locusts. And the very men we are addressing today have that. That is what the Professor Njenga, the Tari Njenga has put it, that those people who are kept without status, how do we deal with them? How do we deal with them? And the question is, how did they sprung up? They sprung up because uh, pastor says it is out of lust. Mm -hmm. They sprung about because of financial stress. Mm -hmm. They sprung about because uh, the first divorce came. You realize So really, the law as it is now, where there is a lacuna on dealing with those ladies who do not have status. But parliament must do that. And after this men's conference, mm -hmm. because those are our sisters, those are our daughters, it is also becoming opposite. The very men of the very men, thousands and millions of men kept by women, mm -hmm. women who have money. Yes. Our brothers have been kept by women who are married. But they have been made to be dependents of that woman. Yes. When the divorce starts, how do we have those womanized men? Where? The womanized men who depend on, on women. Where? How do we deal with them? And their numbers are millions. Hey! hey, hey. <laughs> uh, let me settle this thing once and for all. Because I know more than 40 million Kenyans and more than 100 million out of this country are watching this. The constitution, the constitution of Kenya, which we passed on October, on August 2010, Article 53, 1E, which everybody past says every parent to a child is equal. So maintaining maintenance of children is half half. That stereotype that men will pay school fees, men will provide, men will do what has been tested that constitution, for example, in the Justice uh, Abida Roni matter, it is now settled. 50-50. So let men not be used as ATMs. Let not be women be used as ATMs. Every parent is equal, whether employed or not employed. The moment you wear the, the tag a mother, and another one wears the tag a father, you are equal. You'll provide for that kid. That is why education is now for both male and female. So my brothers, let not you be hoodwinked that it is your stereotype to provide. By law, shuffle Kenyans and tell everybody that every parent is equal. None is less than another. Ahu, 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 ahu. Wait, wait, Chris. One second, one second, one second.